TIFU by accidentally Pavlov conditioning myself. Obligatory this didn't happen today but over the course of a decade. To set some background. I started smoking weed when I was 14. I remember the first time I smoked. I laughed so much to the point of dropping to the floor and rolling around. On the road in the neighborhood. It was great. However, the more I smoked, the more the joyous bubbliness was replaced with paranoia. I was wildly paranoid that I'd get caught by my parents. Either they'd smell it on me or they'd realize I'm acting kinda weird. This led to me having a very well-structured smoke routine. Before I'd smoke on my room's balcony, I'd make sure I made casual leaving remarks to anyone around and then pee in the bathroom before entering my room. That way I would have no reason to leave my room when I'm stoned. This went on for all through high school as I kept smoking. I'd always go through the same routine. Say my goodbyes. Take a piss. Lock my room and get blazed. Mind you. I was smoking on the daily. I went off to college and things became a bit relaxed and I was able to partake in my favorite pastime with no worry. However, I noticed this. Whenever I'm about to smoke or light up, especially the first joint of the day, I feel like I really have to piss. And the feeling is intense like I have a full bladder only for dribbles to come out. I thought it was something that would go away but it still happens to me right now and I'm 26. Every time I want to smoke weed, I feel like I really have to pee. And this doesn't happen for cigarettes or shisha or vape or anything. It's just weed. Could this be that classical conditioning we learnt about in biology when we were kids? You tell me. TLDR I used to always take a piss before locking myself in my room to smoke weed and now I can't smoke a joint without having that sensation that I have to pee. Edit they probably knew I was smoking weed. Another edit really dived into the peeing before brushing teeth rabbit hole. I once pavloved myself to get super turned on by lattes. Lol. I was casually seeing this guy for hookups. Starbucks was on the way. And I'd grab a latte on the way. And get to his house right about when I finished it. About a month after I stopped seeing him. I was out shopping and grabbed a latte. And as soon as I started drinking it. I got super horny. Took me two or three lattes to realize what I'd done. Another seven or eight to unpavlov myself. I have the exact same thing happen but with two instead. I don't know how or why. But every time I'm about to smoke I have the sudden urge to take a huge crap. I could have just gone. Doesn't matter. Even the thought hey. Everyone is unexpectedly away from home right now. I should go smoke a bowl. We'll bring it on instantly. Everyone around you knew you were smoking. If you're really wanting to deprogram yourself, you'd need to go through your usual routine when getting ready to smoke. Up to and including the peeing part. Then hold off actually smoking. Go and cook. Or go for a walk or to see friends. Plan ahead how you're going to spend that time. It's the only way to break the link you've forged in your mind. No matter how many times I pee before we go on a road trip to CA from Las Vegas. I have to pee again when we hit Prim. Then again at Baker. As soon as I see the road signs for the town I suddenly have to pee. I used to have this with going too. As soon as I'd walk in my app's door it was like my body knew I was in my safe zone and had to evacuate now. Eventually broke it when I started going at work from drinking coffee. Lol. Weed can cause overactive bladder issues. Same here.
well we are able to condition ourselves. But we can also undo it with time and effort. I used to sleep on even short plane trips. Now I don't because I have to walk on long trips to keep blood flowing. So can't even sleep on short trips anymore. When going to bed I need to pee too. Happens when I brush my teeth or climb into bed even for a nap. I've kept this one though because it's better than waking up during the night. I pavolved myself into getting horny after smoking weed before having some alone time with my vibrator. I pavolved my ex into getting hard every time I cried because I'd blow him right after we had an argument that ended in me crying. LMAO. I kinda relate. I got into singing about nine years ago and I guess I had two daily habits I would masturbate at least once a day and sing afterwards. Anyways, every time I come I want to sing. It's almost inevitable. I told my girlfriend this. Sometimes after the deed I forget and she calls me out laughing when I start to sing something. About half an hour later I'm belting my heart out. Habits are crazy. My mom used to always tell me to pee before we left the house to go grocery shopping or whatever. My whole life. Now as an adult in my own home I must pee before I leave because if I don't because I don't have to then I will be deeply uncomfortable approximately seven minutes after leaving my house. Okay I've been through this. Here's what you gotta do. Next time you smoke. Don't pass beforehand. Then once you're blazed. Piss your pants. The only way to defeat fear is to live in it. Survive it. Then and only then will you be able to move on. I don't smoke and have friends that will mostly smoke only when drinking. Every Friday night we would go to a pub near uni. Sit in a smoking area and have fries with beer. Every time I smell cigarettes. I will have a craving for hot ships. Tears of joy. I'm a nervous shitter. The anxiety I got from rolling the joint in my room would make me want to shit. It lasted for years. Even when there was no reason to be anxious. Just the smell of weed would make me at least fart. I started peeing while I brushed my teeth to multitask and now can't brush without having to pre. I got the idea in second grade to try and train myself to yawn during the Pledge of Allegiance at school. It stuck with me my entire life. Although I don't say the pledge much anymore. I have motion activated cameras around the exterior of my home. When one is set off. My phone pings. My dog has figured this out and now barks and gets really excited every single time. My phone pings. Thinking someone must be visiting us. It's quite annoying. Doggo needs to learn the difference between a Reddit notification and a camera notification. Latchkey incontinence is a similar phenomenon to what you're describing the sudden urge to need to. Urinate when trying to open your front door. I did something similar. I was sick and taking an antibiotic and it made me drink and piss constantly. I'd get up to piss and I'd be stupid thirsty. So I'd get a drink and hit a bowl on the way to bed. But it became get up. Piss. Drink. Smoke. Sleep. But after the antibiotic. Same shit. I would wake up. Feel the need to piss nothing. Go grab water and smoke on the way to bed. Weird thing was. Even if I left my bong green for when I woke up to see if I could just hit it and fall back asleep. It wouldn't work. Yep. It's the same with me when I brush my teeth before bed. I did something similar with a particular TV show. My ex and I would always watch a show before we had our fun. After we broke up and I went to watch the show I got so horny lol. It took a bit to unpavlov myself back to normal. Better than me. I used to smoke bongs. 
sometimes blunts and rarely joints, but mostly bongs. After much experience with clogs, my lungs got stronger. This strength didn't seem to ease over time either, because my first hit always left me coughing for 15 minutes. My chest is on fire. And every time I experience that intense coughing, it must push my bowels because I always have to take a shit after smoking. I prefer only having to pee. Lucky you I still got lung strength because cigarettes I have to hit lightly. Regardless of them being lights or ultralights. Yes, you're probably conditioned but anxiety and paranoia can also make you feel the urge to pee. In Shawshank Redemption, Red says after 40 years of asking permission from the guards to use the bathroom. He can't squeeze a drop without a boss's is laughing his ass off in his grave. I had a GF who used a certain lotion and perfume most of the time. I've had instances where a random woman has the same combo at the same place I am and flashbacks. And sometimes the tuck maneuver needs to be brought back into play. Fucking embarrassing lol. Wow. That's definitely an interesting Pavlovian response you've developed. I do the same with drinking alcohol and pooping like halfway into a can of white claw. I have to poop. I am laughing my ass off at this whole thread. Holy shit. You lost me at my room's balcony. I also need to pee as soon as I start rolling but I never conditioned myself so no idea why. Did that to myself recently. Nightly smoke is bathroom first. Now when I want to smoke I get the urge to go. Bar. For some reason. Anytime I enter a big box store and find the item I am looking for. I have to pee. Badly. Even if I went before I left the house. Walmart. Lowe's. Barnes and Noble. Doesn't matter. But it's only after I find what I'm looking for. No idea why. Yes. Oh my god I just realized I've done the same thing. To be fair. Smoking irritates an area of your throat that is wired to your bladder because the human body is. Weird like that. It's also why snoring can make you have to pee. I've done this to myself with brushing my teeth and peeing. I'm watching you through your phone. Can we take a moment to appreciate this rare example of OP's participation in the comments? This is classical conditioning. Pavlovian conditioning involves reward and punishment. Classical is more cause and effect. Holder of a piece of paper stating I graduated cum laude in psychology. When I was younger, I never finished my sandwiches because I'd be too full by the time I got to the last bite. Now, whenever I eat a sandwich, I find the last bite in particular to be completely unappetizing. Yeah. What I did is to get naked every time I had to poop. Now every time when I'm on the toilet and there is trouble. I take my clothes off and it works like a charm. Almost always have to shit after the first toke of the day. I did the same but it was that when I was very very pregnant I had trouble peeing emptying my bladder. So I would always squat down while taking a shower and my thighs would push the weight of my belly off of my bladder and I could actually empty it. But now four years later every single time I turn the shower on I immediately have to pee even if I just did before getting in the shower. Awkward at the gym or campground bathrooms tears of joy. No one here talking about how a 14-year-old started smoking weed every day. You lack mental willpower. After combining weed and porn or sex for years weed has become something of an aphrodisiac for me. I can still smoke socially. I don't have any awkward situations. But if the circumstances are right it's on.
Anyone else getting sick of I fucked up the other day month year rather than a proper today I fucked up. No. Not sure if the exact science. But aware that THC ingestion does often make you need to pee. Very common after getting high. Weed makes me need to do a one or two after rolling two. Never understood why. Every time I smell weed and begin smoking it I have to ho take a shit. I mean every time. Ha ha. Talk about stimulation on the go latte induced cravings can be quite a journey. Open mouth smile teacup.